वेलकम टू शरद चंद्र आई एस अकाडमी यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस स्कीम ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दट इज सॉइल हेल्थ कार्ड दिस टॉपिक कम्स अंडर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर वन ऑफ सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन अंडर एग्रीकल्चर रिसोर्सेस जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज एंड इंटरवेंशन द स्कीम इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन राइटिंग सम वैलिड पॉइंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एनवायरमेंट एस एस एंड वी विल ऑल्सो यूज सम इश्यूज विच वी लर्न इन दिस सेशन फॉर प्रिलिम्स पॉइंट ऑफ यू ऑल्सो so now we will try to understand soil health card comprehensively first and foremost why soil is important this question can be answered by anyone because soil is one of the basic element which helps in building of life and it is need for all organisms apart from that soil will play some important functions in our life and in our environment too before understanding its functions i would like to mention one report given by fao food and agriculture organization stated that healthy soil feeds the old healthy soil feeds the old that is the primary support for nutrient cycle for plants and animals comes from soil then soil will do some important functions the most important we can understand in two categories one is provisional and buffer services so let us try to understand what comes under provisional services of soil provisional functions of the soil the first and foremost one is it will provide food it will help in providing food it will also help in conservation of water and it also a big resource for microbes then if you look at the buffer services soil will act against climate change it has one of the high carbon dioxide sequestration capacity and it will also act as buffer or it will also act as a key supporter against drought flood syndrome here the most important points we have to understand that carbon carbon dioxide sequestration capacity of soil is quite high according to some research it was found that one it was found that 1 meter depth of soil 1 meter depth of soil contains almost 1500 gigatons of organic soil organic carbon organic carbon so from this data we can understand that that is soil will play a quite important role in the fight against climate change now we will try to understand the importance of soil from a beautiful quotation given by former USA president Franklin D Roosevelt he stated a nation that destroys its soil destroys itself then why we should conserve soil or in fact why we should conserve resources for that we have to see constitution constitution laid down some principles for conservation for example if you see dpsp's article 48a mentioned that state to safeguard 
forest and wildlife state shall save god forest and wildlife and then if you see fundamental duties 51a and clause z it mentioned that one should protect one should protect natural environment from this we understood that constitution played uh, plays an important role on us for conservation of resources then we will try to understand why this scheme is launched or what is the need of this scheme to understand the need of the scheme we should see our agriculture development or you can say how our agriculture developed during independence we faced a lot of issues for example our agriculture is underdeveloped and also we had a lot of issues like low investment in irrigation and also we also witnessed low investment in agriculture infrastructure development say it can be warehouse development or availability of pesticides etc however this was altered by green revolution green revolution in 1960s which brought hyb varieties and it also induced high uses of pesticides and insecticides started to rise started to rise utilization of more chemicals it was mentioned by ministry of chemicals and fertilizers in one of its report that is the amount of food grains produced per kg of fertilizers applied declined around 13 kg in 1970 to 4 kg by 20 by 2010 the most important point we have to understand here is if we apply let us say 1 kg of fertilizers fertilizer in 1970 we used to get 13 kg of food grains but now that 1 kg is giving only 4 kg of food grains which indicates that our utilization of fertilizers reduced soil fertility and that is which is unfortunate too then a parliamentary standing committee highlighted that in some states there is over usage of fertilizers for example if you take the standard ratio of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium in india it should be 4 is to 2 is to 1 however in states like punjab it is 31.4 is to 8 is to 0.1 so this is which is very high in fact so this is the situation and in parliamentary standing committee it was highlighted that 85% of chemicals are fertilizers in india utilized only in 20 uh, only in 292 districts only in 292 districts so that is within 292 districts 85% of our chemicals are utilized so which highly which highly impacting the soil fertility a lot considering all these things government of india timely planning to conserve soil this can be evident from the recommendations of planning commission planning commission that is 11th planning commission 11th planning commission gave one idea that is balanced and judicial use of fertilizer should be balanced and judiciary judicial judicious use of balanced and judicious use of fertilizer should be encouraged however this was not implemented in the letter of spirit later national project on management of soil health which is considered to be uh, one of the earliest scheme by the government of india to conserve soil so national project on management of soil health is a national wide program launched in 2008 and 9 however the success of the scheme also is very limited finally after understanding all these things government of india 
launched soil health card in the year 2015 by the department of agriculture and cooperation department of agriculture and cooperation which is under ministry of agriculture and family welfare so now what is the main ambition of this scheme and how this scheme useful for us so the main ambition here is they will collect the samples soil samples and they will form a grid that is they will collect a certain number of soils in a local area and they will form a grid and then they will inform to the farmer and this will also rec recommend appropriate dosages of fertilizers and improves the soil health <laughs> apart from that it will increase awareness also and it will promote judicious use of fertilizers try to understand here the main ambition here we can understand it will suggest nutrient status of soil along with recommendations on appropriate uses of chemicals the main objective is soil nutrients to be applied for improving soil health and its fertility so here health of the soil soil should be improved at the same time fertility should be improved so then what they will do so simply they will try to promote soil test and they will also try to try to promote new balanced nutrition nutrient management and they will address nutrient deficiencies in soils and they will also promote high amount of testing and then they will try to increase the income of the farmer by increasing the yields and in this way they want to promote sustainable farming too then what process they will do so here this is a example of soil health card so in this they will test certain parameters there are 12 parameters so that is ph and they will also see electronic conductivity of the soil and then organic carbon nitrogen phosphorus potassium sulfur zinc boron iron manganese and copper why it is important if you see 2018 prelims paper they asked about which of the following is not doesn't have a, um, which of the following doesn't have msp similarly we can expect a question that which of the following is not mentioned under under soil health card so in that way we can remember all right so for that reason just try to remember no need to focus too much just revise more you will try definitely eliminate the wrong answer so yeah so now the process we are not soil engineers and even upsc doesn't ask you will never ask you how test will be conducted however some people are there we call them as a babu bangaram team this team will try to focus more on research okay so that is not very much useful so just leave it so what are the major benefits of the scheme one most important benefit is it will tries to improve income that we understood in the aim itself however the benefits of the scheme highlighted by national productivity council so this is a body this is a body established in the year 1958 under ministry of commerce and industry so this national productivity council conducted one study and found that soil will soil health card helped in different fa in different ways that is the first one is it started to raise the income of the farmers whoever utilizing the whoever utilized the scheme their income levels was raised to set a level for example it stated that it increased 30000 per acre 30000 rupees per acre dependency on the crop the soil health got raised the prices uh, raised the income then when we are 
minimizing intake of chemicals that is our input cost will be reduced so that way it is helping input cost for the farming is reduced because of soil health card next the resources that is your um, fertilizers or chemicals are used very properly they are not wasted as like previously so that promoted effective use of resources then it also increase productivity like that for example if your zinc is deficient <coughs> then soil health card sized zinc in that way it improved crop growth and it increased yields of the farming then employment here employment section can be understood in two two factors one rise in farming activities created employment apart from that soil health card established some labs and local people got some employment in this lab works okay for collecting sample government will pay them certain amount okay for collecting samples for conducting uh, test government will pay a certain amount for them okay so that is one of the benefit of the scheme where it created lot of employment too for example uh, if they collect sample of one farmer soil they will get rupees of 10 so which is also uh, incentive for them then it started to rise the income we discussed it and it acts as a uh, against the it fight against the climate change why because we know that healthy soil will definitely uh, actively uh, sequester the more carbon dioxide as we understood in the earlier discussion that is carbon dioxide will play major role in carbon sequestration so like that government uh, this scheme is benefiting farmer not only rising incomes but also resource conservation and effective effective enhancement of income and most importantly in fight against climate change too then what are the major challenges for this scheme so the challenges also mentioned by national productivity council when it studied the scheme it gave some highlights that the first and foremost one is inadequate technical and non technical support for example sometimes they will have sometimes they will have labs but you see power connection will be not there sometimes power connection will be there but transport facility to reach lab after conducting test to upload data internet is also not available and there are less number of less number of labs okay less number of labs that's the reason staff are overburdened apart from that the infrastructure that is collecting testing giving report to the people is quite inadequate that there these were the highlights these were the major highlights stated by the npc that is national productivity council then there is one more uh, challenge that agriculture experts said that soil health card parameters as there are 12 but they are missing one important factor that is micro organisms indicators micro organisms will play a major role for example we have rhizobium a microbe will play a major role in nitrogen fixation in nitrogen fixation it is not it is not a uh, validated in the test then apart from that some experts believe that it unable to find out the importance of depth of the soil as we know that is depth of the soil will also play a major role in carbon sequestration too then it doesn't calculated what is the cropping history which crop they used to grow and uh, which crop uh, highly taking the resources this history is not calculated okay so these are these are some challenges so what can be the way forward so the simple thing is the way forward should be very clear and it should be very positive in nature in writing answers it will be useful so now way forward is very simple npc again suggested a way forward document so it stated that 
incentives should be increased for example right now they are giving 10 rupees for collecting one soil one sample okay it should be changed to at least 25 rupees okay and then change testing mechanism that is right now we are testing in a grid format collecting samples in one uh, major area and then we will go for testing apart from that we should go for individual testing that can be more productive and more helpful for the farmers then as we saw in challenges there are less number of labs NPC suggested that renovate all the old labs so that these old labs can help for example renovating by giving power supply renovating by providing internet connection by using Bharatnet project so like that we can renovate the old labs which can support the new ones and there should be there should be synergy between state government labs and even central government labs this is where the coordination is missing okay sometimes state government central government placing labs in one area sometimes they are leaving some areas apart from that there should be a synergy between two two governments that will helpful more then standard operating procedures for example government unable to provide a clear cut sops for stories for analysis and for distribution of information so this should be corrected by providing national wide uniform standard operating procedures or some other should be uh, should be empowered sh uh, should give regional vari uh, variations in sops and one should give one should give more awareness one should give more awareness for the scheme but because still awareness levels has to increase okay for that what is important is we have to use we have to use self-help groups and we can also use students particularly NSS and NCC students for increasing awareness so that it can be useful then more budgetary support should be given for this scheme for the testing for the testing labs and also government should use corporate social responsibility funds for establishing labs in addition to that village level testing labs the idea should be promoted more interestingly because most of the times village level testing labs are inactive even though scheme spoke about it but still they are not able to function at demand at a demand level then training and workshop should be provided for the for the people who are working in this arena so by taking all these measures we can definitely make soil health guard scheme more powerful and it will help agriculture sector of india and it will also help in doubling the farmers income thank you so much and jai hind